All right, check out Hayes Investment Group, Stockton Cryptocurrency Investing. He wants you guys to know he give out free game on his YouTube channel right there, Neighborhood Stock Guy on Instagram. Cornelius Hayes about to stop marking how to invest your money. You want a one on one? Hit him directly up on Instagram, Cornelius Hayes, running right your screen. So you get it popping to get that your money. In my Cardi B voice, appreciate the love support. Check him out. Peace. All right, what y'all just saw was, saw was Paul and my knives. You get slapped by a TikToker. Is that how you say somebody that do TikTok? Let's talk about it. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. Don't forget, uh, you can find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Maybe I should do a TikTok. Don't know. But um, appreciate the love support. Keep sharing those videos. Um, but uh, basically, he was uh, calling a fight. Okay? Um, and, you know, old boy put the powder powder on his hand. Pow! <laughs> what they say back in the day, go ahead, go ahead, Paulie, a cheese neck. Pow! And tap Paulie, a hot head. And whatever it was, I man, hopefully it wasn't no skit. Everybody, luckily for that kid, people was able to get to Pauly uh, before Pauly put them hands on him. Now, people say Pauly don't get hit hard, but in a street fight with no gloves on, probably hit pretty hard. But, um, but yeah, check the box and play this out. He was calling the fight. I think it was in Atlantic City he was calling the fight. Remember all the big fights used to be in Atlantic City? Um, you know, remember watching HBO and Bernard used to fight there and, Kelly Pavick, uh, you know, got a home there. Or two of Gotti got a home there. Remember Floyd beat him? Doom, doom, doom. Another one. Floyd came out to that to mock the frow. But, uh, where's Gotti? But, um, like I said before, it's just, it's just to the point where somebody's going to get hurt. Somebody is going to get hurt. Somebody going to get stumped in the club. One of these TikTokers thinking shit sweet. This is a this is square business, bro. You know, and obviously, you know, uh, Paulie hands are registered. You know, and at some point that do expire. So his his hands are are in the law, if my memory serves me correctly, his hands are the equivalent. His hands are the equivalent of a gun. They're registered. So, you know. So, you know, if he would have hit that kid, that kid could have sued. But then, you know, it gotta be some type of self defense. It gotta be some type of self defense to uh it gotta be some type of self defense to it, man. But um, you know, he, people think shit's sweet, and this is Jake and Logan Paul for. This is Floyd for. Floyd for giving two of the, some of the biggest, you know, YouTubers an opportunity. Not everybody gonna try to do it and come out, come up with clout. Everybody gonna try to get clout. Everybody gonna try to smack a pro boxer. And you slap better B. F. You slap Mike Tyson. You slap Julian Jackson. You know, you are gonna be up for a rude awakening. And I was thinking more about the lines that somebody's gonna get hurt. I don't think somebody gonna get hurt around the lines of uh, in the ring, and when you in that ring, you can get hurt. And people forget most injuries uh, occur in sparring, even with head get wrong. All right, and it just just get to the point where, you know, they they didn't really think about the ramifications of what they did. You fighting Floyd, you taking this hat, and if that was an act. I don't think that was real. Now, every TikToker, every YouTuber. Everybody do a vlog, you know. It ain't gonna be the, too many black people. It ain't gonna be too many people from the streets. Some people from the inner cities gonna be these suburban black kids or these suburban white kids that think they're gonna be able to come up quick, you know. Until somebody gets slang in the ring, somebody get knocked the fuck out or hurt outside the ring, these thing, people think it's funny. I remember they had a TikTok or a YouTuber boxing match between YouTubers. Somebody legitimately can get hurt, you know. And now boxing has become a circus. See, I gotta blame the RTBE. Blame Floyd. When Floyd fought a YouTuber, and Francis Ngannou said he made twenty million dollars. Come on, that's life changing money. You know, twenty million dollars. You can live off that if you know what to do you, without even reinvesting in it. You can, that, that, that's life money. If you know how to do it right, of course somebody can blow, blow it on ignorant shit. But Jake Paul and Logan Paul is already worth worth eleven million dollars. Come on, they're already worth eleven million dollars, and now every white kid across America gonna try to start shit with a boxer. And for the benefit of the boxer, maybe the clout, maybe get you one last payday, maybe get Paulie one last payday. But Paulie is a high head. These people don't know nothing about these fighters. And also for the event security. And the event, people that's running the event, now you got to have security behind the fighters. Now you got to have security for somebody coming slapping out Bernstein. Somebody slapping, you know, 
Who else they got? I don't know. Brian Kenny, that's who it should have happened to. It should have happened to Brian Kenny. You know, but uh but yeah, I wanna see that they do that to better be it. You know, now with these fights, man, you know, you could be giving somebody an interview, somebody get cold cop. Somebody get slapped and get cheese neck, slapped in the back of their head. You know, now he's, did you set me up or what's going on? So now when these fights go on, you got to keep your head on the swivel. And the best thing for these fighters to do is press charges. Because you put hands on them. Even if you, you know, you get exonerated, you still call for spending money on the legal team. That's why Rapping Forte said on that All Eyes On Me. Ain't no such thing as self-defense in the law. Even if you self-defense, you still got to lawyer up. So you still lose the money. And then you still got the stress of you going to jail or not going to jail. Who, who want that on their mind? But, you know, now, now, you know, maybe some of these YouTube boxing niggas might think shit's sweet. Not the older ones, the younger ones. But they know what's up. Once you watch boxing long enough, you know how dangerous, you know how dangerous that shit can be. Even from the Feather Fist or, or the littlest guys, they can put niggas out. I was listening to Zab Judah did an interview with Vlad Ho ass. He said that he didn't knocked out guys three times bigger than him. Over disrespect. So you messing with the real street niggas like Broner didn't knock somebody out allegedly in Vegas. Zab said he knocked people out. Come on. These little dudes still can hurt you. <laughs> Best with these, these little TikTok dudes. You smack you smack me. You know, don't worry, don't worry about running. Because I, I'm going to grab you. I'm going to make an example out of your ass. I'm going to make an example out of your ass. Grab you by your damn shirt and, you know. But, you know, these fighters, man. And then you fuck with Canelo. You know, he got ties to you know who. Shit, Canelo ain't got to worry about you. His people going to go ahead and you going to be in the, like, uh, what's that uh, show called? Uh, Ozark. You going to be in that barrel of acid. You better watch you smack some of these these dudes, especially these Mexican dudes who got ties to to bigger 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 ties and bigger people. Find you come up missing. You come up missing, dude. Like what happened to little Timmy that do the TikTok? He hasn't did a show in a year. Boy, boy swimming with the fishes. Boy body and acid. You know, but you know, personally, that shit ain't cool. You know, these young people, these young kids today, man. I was just thinking about how the parents suck today. You know, it's no disrespect to the um, to the parents that do a good job, but how the parents suck today. You know, I just sit back and watch. You know, I was glad I didn't I didn't keep pursuing to be a teacher. I just sit back and watch and look how bad the parenting is. And you just see people don't have no objectivity about their kids no more. Something happened at the school. Instead of remembering your parents, like, what did you do? You know, they just go up to the school, take their kid word. That's why we. That's why it's it's, it's a limited amount of teachers now. These kids, you know, like I said, man, I don't, I don't, I don't want no kids, not no more, not right now. And if I did, you can't, you know. You think about just homeschool. You think about just putting them in private school. But you know, it is what it is. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. You can reach out if you have a business question, inquiry, response, your video request. All my social media links description. Twitter's the fastest way to reach me. Then, for, then Facebook, then Instagram. Facebook group link in the description. Want to make a financial donation? Cash app CJ Good Three One Three in the description. PayPal link there as well too. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. One time for the one time. Peace.